What's happening? Hello world. Welcome to your ninth SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and today I want to show you how to create tables using SQL Server Management Studio as well as using PSQL. So to start, uh, creating tables with SQL Server Management Studio is generally easier than with PSQL. The biggest disadvantage to using SSMS though is not having very portable code. Once T-SQL is written, it can be saved and executed against the same instance or another instance of SQL Server without you having to recreate the script. But obviously that's not the case with Management Studio, you don't use scripts. So, If you use the table designer to create a table, you're required to perform the same steps on another instance of SQL Server if you want to recreate the table. However, it's worth knowing and understanding these steps. You should learn how to create the table using T-SQL as well as Management Studio. T-SQL is useful not only because there are tons of things on SQL Server that you can accomplish using T-SQL, but also because T-SQL allows for easy portability. Okay, so but that step we're, we're going to start uh, with SQL Server Management Studio. As you can see, I already have it pulled up. Uh, if you do not, please do so now and connect to an instance of SQL Server. And then I'm going to have you expand the databases folder. And then we're going to go here to my first database. That was the uh, database I had, the very first database I had you create a few tutorials back. We're going to expand this. We're going to security. And what we're doing is we're creating another schema just like we did in the... Uh, Last tutorial I did on schemas, if you remember I had you first do create a schema using Management Studio and I believe it was marketing I had you create and then I had you do create a, using my database too, the second database I had you create a few tutorials back. I had you use a T-SQL script that created the marketing schema as well as the human resources schema. So it did two. So what we're doing now is we're just finishing, uh, we're doing the human resources schema for uh, my first database. So now that we're here, I want you to go and right click on the schema folder, new schema just like last time. Let's call this human resources. And then DBO. And then we're going to go ahead and click OK. Okay, and then from here, now we're going to create the table. We're going to go new table. All right. And then here in the column name, we're going to give this, we're going to call this address ID. All right. And this is going to be an integer data type. So we click here, we see this drop down comes down, and we have all these different data types to choose from. So let's go ahead and find integer. All right. Now we want to uncheck the allow nulls box as well. Now for our next step, we're going to go here to the column properties. We're going to scroll down until we see identity specification. We're going to expand this. We're going to, this is what we want here is identity. We're going to click on this and we're going to change this to yes. All right, we're good to go there. Now we're going to go back up here to where we were designing the table. We're going to do the same steps all over again. We're going to create street address 2, then city, then state, then employee ID. So, or street address 1, then 2, or you'll see. Alright, and then we're going to select bar char. Some people call this bar car. For our data type, we're going to change this guy from 50 to 125. We're going to uncheck that. Then we're going to go here, street address 2. This is also going to be Varchar. However, we are going to change this to 75. And we're going over here to city. 
This is also bar char. We're going to give that 100. State. State is a character type. Mm -hmm. And we're going to change that to 2. Then we want this unchecked, unchecked. I'll go over nulls. I'm not going to get into character types in this tutorial. I will be covering them in depth more so in another tutorial. But just so you know, there are several data types that can be used with a SQL Server. You have numeric data types. You have string data types, date and time data types, and there's other data types. So again that will be uh, for another tutorial anyways and now uh, finally we have employee ID and employee ID is an integer type there we go alright okay now from here we're going over to the properties window over here and right here you'll see it says schema and it's set the database owner we're going to click this the drop down is going to come down and we're going to select human resources for the schema that we want and then from here as well we want to make sure that group one is selected under regular data space which it is and so now we're just going to save it and we're good to go and now you know how to create a table using SQL Server Management Studio. Pretty cool. Um, and then now shortly, I'm, or as soon as I get done saving this, I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing but using a T SQL script. All right, and we're gonna see uh, table one, we're gonna change this to address. So now we have a table called address. Boom, we're good to go. Okay, now using T SQL, we're going to go up here to the new query tab, click on that. It's going to pull up the query designer. I'm going to paste in this code that I had saved. And this is going to be put on my database too, the second database I had you create. And feel free to copy this down and save it for yourself so you can use it. You can modify it to do to create tables at your will. We're going to hit execute. Commands completed successfully. And now we've just accomplished the same thing. This is why T-SQL is so cool because if you, you know, have a scripts folder with tons of different scripts, it sure saves a lot of time than having to do, you know, just simply paste that in and click execute and you accomplish everything that it took us to do several clicks to do with Management Studio. But either one works. So whichever you feel more comfortable using, uh, I hope you liked, enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, as always, uh, please feel free to leave questions and comments in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next tutorial. I just wanted to clarify something real quick here, too. At the very beginning of this tutorial, I stated that... Um, using SQL Server Management Studio is the easier option and then at the end of the tutorial I was telling you how fast and time saving using T-SQL is so which alludes to the fact that T-SQL is easier so which one is it Johnny which one is easier well the reason why I said that using SQL Server Management Studio is the easier method in the beginning is because you don't have to have any knowledge of T-SQL you don't have to have any scripts saved you, you know you could be all you have to do is know how to right click left click look you have to know where to click obviously but it's easier in that aspect but once you get to the point where you start mastering T-SQL and you have a cool collection of scripts T-SQL is more time saving so just to clarify that didn't want there to be any confusion and again it doesn't matter how you do it as long as you get the job done, whichever one you feel more comfortable using. Again, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for stopping by.